And it's time to talk international hockey now. Ireland are going to take on Great Britain in a three-game soft call series. It starts tomorrow. Uh, games to follow in Belfast on Sunday and then on Tuesday. Delighted to say former international Nicky Simmons joins us on the line. Morning, Nicky. Good morning. How are you? Great to have Good, thanks. you on. Thank you. <laughs> no, delighted to have you on. We wanted to look ahead to the games and, and to get a bit of a fix, I suppose, on where Ireland are at. Maybe as difficult as that has been, given that they've uh, it's been a long time since the last game. But just the, the squad that's been named and, and the injuries that are there, it seems to be a bit of a mix of sort of the elder heads and then some younger players coming in. Is it a bit more unsettled than they would like, given the such a monster year that's, that's ahead? Or are there enough games to... Uh, to get that out of the system before the bigger games kick in later in the year? Well, I guess it's never, it's not the usual way to, to prepare for especially Olympic Games, even though we've never been there, but for a big major tournament. So it's going to be a bit uneasy for them having lost a couple of players like Zoe Wilson, for example. But I think, you know, it's still time for them and also they're trying to figure out the best combination of players and it's always good to have some young players in their uncapped players to kind of make sure that the senior players are are putting in their best performances as well which is what you need coming up to this very important few months ahead of the games you mentioned zoe wilson we talked to us a little bit about the impact of her loss and serena bar out as well uh what that means like a couple of couple of bankers for the team and with with uh, top level experience as well and zoe wilson particularly is out for the longer term yeah for sure i'm being so young still but such an amazing player at, at the time and, and so important for their qualifier and even the world cup as well so yeah a big loss and i'm sure it's not just the loss of her playing but also how it's pretty sad thing to happen just before the games you know so i think it's it's a bit of a blow for uh, mentally as well for the team and you're always worried about that whether there'll be more injuries and hopefully there will not be any more injuries but yeah i think that can be a big blow to the team but i think they're they're very strong we know that they come back and fight a lot so i think they're a very strong team they're very well together and i think they'll be fine where are they at in terms of the profile? We mentioned about the how settled they are from the uh, great success that they had a couple of years ago. Where are they at, do you think, Nikki, in, on, in terms of their traje trajectory? And I mean that in terms of what they might, the expectation of what they might be able to achieve this year. Yeah, I mean, again, like you said, expectation as well, that that's on their shoulders too to perform because of what we had in the last couple of years and how good they've been playing. And then without any games for the last few months or years, uh, it's very difficult too for them to really gauge or anyone to gauge where any team in fact not just the Irish team where any team are um but they did have a good series against Spain um which I think was very very encouraging especially when they came back came down from 2-0 down to, to to get a good draw so I think there's definitely you know really great potential there I think they're they're training really well I've heard a lot um I've been watching a little bit on their social as well it looks like they're training well they're showing lots of good clips and great skills happening and I think yeah they just have to keep positive um, it's a really, really difficult time for all athletes at the moment in every sport. Um, but if they stick together, I think everyone seems to be in the same boat, right? So they stick together. Um, I think they'll be strong. And, and playing GB this weekend is going to be huge and hugely important for them, especially for players who've not got that many caps or uncapped. It's going to be massive experience for them and really, really good uh, preparation for the Euros first and then the, and then Olympic Games. So what have you heard, Nikki, in terms of their preparation despite the lack of games over the last few months when it comes to Ireland's preparations versus other elite countries in Europe? Well, I think in fairness, like you just said, like it's been a bit different from other countries like the Netherlands, for example, we went back to club. So we've had some players there, obviously, um, well, one player, <laughs> uh, one goalkeeper, Aisha, so there. So that's been good. But um, yeah, so, so those players have had club experience and I was thinking about it before I came on and that's such a nice part about playing the international and club that you go back to club you you play a different game you can really let loose on the club scene as well so that's a, a very tricky situation to be in as well where you're just stuck with your national team in training games and that's very difficult to get past but as I said they did have good games against Spain um, and I think that was a really good test for them and um, seeing how they were going to be and this weekend will be vital for that um uk or gb team coming over they haven't been over since i don't know when it was i think i played i played the last time they were over so it's going to be a really tough competition um but it looks like we've got actually quite a, a bit more experience on the, on our side uh compared to the gb team as in caps wise so i think potentially there's a there's a win in us there 
what, what, what will the team, what will Team GB's expectation be from this year? Like their expectation when it comes to hockey is obviously through the roof every year the Olympics come around. Like, is there a pressure on them to ensure that they wipe the floor with Ireland this weekend, that they win gold this summer? Is that how high the bar is for this team? Yeah, I would assume so, especially when with all hockey teams, you know, the money that comes in from governments, you've got all that always have that pressure on you to perform. And, and even if you, you know, don't perform once, it's like, oh, you're not playing well. And um, so there's always that pressure constantly there uh, for funding wise, which is very hard for all the players. But so they have they don't escape from that in the UK. Um, so I think they'll have a lot of pressure on. And, and as we said, and I think Shirley mentioned that they haven't been over a, a lot to play Ireland and even though it's only a, a little hop across the water we rarely played them so there's always that um that side of it too that they probably think potentially they think they're too good for us uh sometimes that has been over the years as well even at underage level um so I think yeah they're, they're gonna have a lot of pressure on to, to beat us at the weekend I for one am astonished that there would be any British arrogance <laughs> never <laughs> Away, away from the uh, from, from away from the possible outcome, Nikki. The, Katie Mullen was talking during the week about the style of hockey that uh, Great Britain play being similar, maybe to what they might face uh, come the Euros, and Ireland obviously themselves maybe developing more of an attacking game under Sean Dancer. With all that in the pot, when people are tuned in and the games are free to air live this weekend, so people can tune in and watch them. With all that in the pot, what sort of games do you think uh, in terms of like tactically and that kind of thing? Were we likely to see? Well, I'd hope we'll try everything they've been doing on the training pitch. And I, I've read quite a lot of the girls, um, you know, even just blogs or, or tweets, and they, they, they do want to do that. They want to see what they've been doing on the training field on the pitch because there is a – sometimes teams will go into these games and maybe not show everything, but hopefully they will. I mean, they just need to let loose. They need to get it out of their system. They haven't played for a long time. So actually seeing what they're doing on the training field – against the top opposition would be really, really useful. And I think they there's no point in holding things back. Um, with GB, yeah, the style is, it hasn't really changed over the years, but now they've got a new coach recently with Mark Hager. So I assume they'll probably have changed a little bit. Um, and the, the, the types of players, like you're talking about the Olympic gold medalists, but there's not that many there that, that were in Rio. So there's still quite a new quite a new bunch of players. Um, so it'll be quite a different team from, from Rio. Um, and now it's, it's five years ago so very different again um so yeah i think ireland hopefully will keep that conti continue on to be attacking team i think that sean's bringing that in very well and hopefully that will keep going and they just have to be mindful of defense though with there's some very feisty players on the gb team that can score can score goals so they just need to be aware of that and what what do you think finally before we wrap nikki what's what does success look like in terms of the outcome uh for ireland over the weekend and into tuesday well, this weekend, I mean, obviously you always want to win, right? But I think they'll probably focus on different things, like I said, like what they're doing on the training field, what they brought in from training field onto the pitch. Um, short corners have always been a big thing for, for the Irish team to, when we when we get that far and we win a short corner, to try and try and execute those. I think that will be something they will probably think about as well. I mean, I don't know, I'm not in the team, so but I would hope so, um, because they're always great opportunities to, to score. Um, and yeah, I think performance especially i know we always want them to think win 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 which we do but still performance at this stage um going into preparation for euros and for the games i think would be on the top of their list yeah okay well we watch with keen interest pleasure as always nikki thanks a million thank you very much